Cancer knocked me down, but not out. Now, I'm cancer free. The recovery, it's been tough. I'll need patience, a lot of humor. <laughs> I don't even have a rider. And support from friends and family. Over the last two years, I haven't played much golf, but there's no better place to get back in the game than on 66 courses in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're keeping score, but just teeing it up means I've already won. I'm gonna show y'all the best par you've ever seen after that one. Join me on my journey to break par. baby hope you got your dramamine ready because we're going for a wild ride here par three playing to a peninsula green with a big front bunker ready to catch any short tee shot that manages to avoid the water and check out the kakina boulders surrounding this thing let's go have some fun with this hole all right guys um hold on a second Go in. Okay, that's dry. <laughs> See what I did there? This is an island green. And I was really nervous when I walked up here and I hit very quickly before I got too nervous to hit. That's a good tip right there. This is Ocean Ridge Plantation. We're in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. This is home of the big cats. They got courses named here after various body parts of lions and panthers and leopards. This is actually Tiger's Eye, magnificent par three, Peninsula Green. My ball's dry up there, by the way. I love a good island green. Anyway, a really cool place, big facility, 72 holes, lots to do in this area. Make sure you get this on your itinerary when you come to the Myrtle Beach area. You're gonna have a great time. Lots of good restaurants around here too. They got fishing. You can get down into North Myrtle Beach. All the entertainment that uh, North Myrtle Beach offers is down there. And did I mention my ball is dry? Yeah, see what I did there? Good strategy, huh? All right, y'all check this out. I'm dry in the bunker. And a lot of people make the mistake of going in a bunker and they're either closest to their ball. That's no good, that's bad etiquette. Cause if I tried to come in the top side there, I'd crumble that bunker in and it's really hard to rake. So always enter a bunker at the lowest point and then sort of rake your way out. That uh, gives us all the best chance of having great bunkers. And uh, it's a mistake a lot of people make. I wish they didn't. All right, let's see what we can do here. Giddy up. All right, got a chance. Always rake the bunker with your non-glove hand. The rakes, they always got a little water on it, a little sand. It'll get on your uh, glove, and then uh, that sand stays on there all day because of the sweat. And you put it in your pocket, and you got sand and sweat in your pocket. And when you get home, you wash your shorts, um, it'll end up cycling all that sand through the washing machine and your washing machine will break down a lot quicker. Just, you know, another tip for me, that's what I do. I try to help people out. All right, we're gonna save this par. Ah, it was horrible. Every now and then it happens. The issue I had with that was, I misread it. I was thinking it would break towards the water. The problem is trying to figure out which way the water is when you're on a island green. Well, at least I didn't lose my ball. Good hole right here. Uh-oh, these cats have my score heading in the wrong direction. and We gotta stay in the red. So let's see if we can buck this trend at our final Big Cat Stop. 